Hi, I'm Mike, and in this recording I'm going to demo um, how to start Mission Control and then the uh, general tab group for Mission Control. So here I've got uh, a little demo program that you can get with the samples and demos um, off the Java website. It's a free download. This is the little graphics program. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to start that. And it's just a 2D graphics demo. So, you know, it just shows some pictures like so. Uh, add a couple more here. And we're going to leave that running. And now, uh, if you have the latest version of Java, Java 7 update 40 or later, installed, and you have the Java bin directory in your path, you should be able just to type JMC, and that should start mission control. You can see there we're using version 5.2. And it should start up like this, and then you should see the JVM browser. That's what we're interested in. And uh, it shows all the running JVMs on this system. And in this case, so this is the, of course, one is the Mission Control JVM itself, and the other one is the demo, and that's what we want to monitor. And so I'm going to right-click that and then choose JMX Console. The console is the live monitoring tool with uh, Mission Control and Flight Recorder. So uh, once I start that up, you should see something like this. And this is, of course, the uh, general tab group. And that's a group because we have two tabs here. I have the overview tab, which we're going to talk about in a little bit more detail. And then we have the server information tab here, which just shows you about the um, hardware, the general system information, and, and JVM specific information. Like here's the the virtual machine arguments that were used to start the JVM, um, you know, what program's running, you know, all that sort of stuff, how many processors, etc. But the main thing we want to look at here is the overview tab. And you can see at the top here we have a dashboard with a number of dials. We have this one showing the uh, Java heat memory used. Um, this one here is showing the CPU usage for the JVM. Then here we have um, the live set fragmentation for um, the heap. And this may at first show up empty. In a lot of cases it does, and it takes a while. Generally a few um, full garbage collections it takes to populate this. But eventually this will be populated and, and look exactly like what you see here in this example. And then down below here we've got a couple of charts. So these are dials at the top. And then down here we have charts. The first one being the process, a processor chart showing um, CPU usage. So the, the darker line is the machine usage and then the, the lighter, like the purple color, is the JVM. And then down below here we have a memory chart and it's showing, um, once again, heap usage uh, along with uh, physical memory usage. So all this is uh, customizable. You can actually go in and um, customize this. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's say we want to add the machine CPU usage to these this dashboard. We want to dial for that. So to do that, I can if, you, if I mouse over all these little buttons up here, I can see what they actually do. And um, what I'd like to do is add a dial. So I'm going to use this green plus. I'm going to click on that. I get a, a dialog here for the dial properties. I'm going to add an attribute and that basically is all the information that Mission Control is collecting about a particular Java virtual machine. So I'm going to scroll down to, it's all grouped by various areas. I think I, there's an operating system area I want down here. And we want system CPU load, which is this one right here. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to click OK. And then that fills out. I'm going to just take the defaults for everything else. And then that should add a dial to my user interface. And there you go. You can see it. We get a little scroll bar here because we got to. Let me see if I can shrink this. I'm going to just shrink that a little bit. All very customizable. There we go. That looks better. And uh, so let's say I also wanted to add a new chart. So we've got these two. I can do that as well. If I go up here to the top, 
Notice that that green plus is actually to add chart. So I'm going to click that. And notice my interface didn't really change, but it added it. It adds it to the bottom by default. You'll notice the scroll bar grew. So if I scroll down, there's my new chart. It automatically gives it a name. Um, why don't we add uh, a graph of the Eden space to see what's going on with that. And it should automatically pick a scale here once we actually put data in it. So time is at the bottom, as you can see, all the way with all these. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go to the Java Lang uh, group and then into um, Memory Pool. And then there's our various uh, garbage collection areas. I'm going to go to the Eden space. I'm going to go down to Usage. And then I'm going to go to Used. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then immediately, you see here, I get a new scale on the Y axis that looks like bytes, which would make sense for Eden space since it's a memory space. And you can see here that our Eden space is growing and shrinking as we would expect for an Eden space to do. So much like, you know, right along with our um, heat memory graph above. So anyway, so you can make your own charts. This is totally customizable and uh, really cool stuff. You can do pretty much whatever you want with it. Now let's say we didn't like the changes we make and we want to get back to to how we started. If you go up here, you see this yellow arrow up here. I can actually reset everything. So if I just click that, and then I get a confirmation dialog that I would really want to reset, I click OK, and then my interface is reset to the default. So uh, that's it for the general tab group for mission control.